This is the quickest and best way to get tons of tokens and tons of different prompts. Have you ever seen social media posts like this? You know, where someone's bragging about their AI influencer making thousands of dollars a month. Well, aren't you just a fancy pants? But yet when you ask them exactly how they did it, crickets. LOL. No response. And so it leaves you wondering, how in the heck did they make images that look that good? Well, today, that all changes for you because I figured out exactly how they did it by taking a screenshot of their post and then letting AI do all the work for me. And one of the best parts is that you're going to get a ton of helpful prompts, tips, and guides. Tons of detailed with hidden token prompts, keywords, and specific tips to make your images look this good. Check the links in the description. Now, before I show you exactly what to do, let's take a look at two things. First, I want to show you some of these images I actually got with this method I'm about to show you. Now, you can see just these first two rows alone look so incredibly realistic, okay? Now, even this one right here, I've been so impressed with these level of details and images. I mean, AI is getting so close to achieving really good levels of realism. And check this out. This is one of my absolute faves. And again, it's just getting better and better. Yay! And the prompts do make a really big difference in how realistic that they're gonna end up looking, which is gonna be so important because with AI video taking off even more, more people wanna make those AI influencer lip sync videos. You're gonna need a realistic looking AI influencer. I might look like I have a lot on my mind. <laughs> but that's because I'm thinking about prompts. And so the other thing I wanted to show you is the different results we're gonna get based on what LLM you use. Now on this one right here, I was using ChatGPT 4.5. You're gonna get a lot of different results when compared to other models like 4.0, Gemini, or Claude. And now over here on this screen, this was using ChatGPT 4.0. And as I continue to scroll down, I mean, you can just see everything that we're gonna get with this one method I'm sharing today. The most important and the most important impressive thing are going to be the follow-up questions that ChatGPT then asks you. Because here's the catch. The method I give you may start off pretty good, but you on your end, you can actually make it 10 times better than mine just by answering the follow-up questions with ChatGPT and providing it with some specific levels of detail in what you're looking for. And so that's exactly what we're going to do. As I scroll down, you could see that the more information it gives me, I'll answer some of these questions. Right here, you can just see, just with a simple yes, I was actually to get ChatGPT to respond and say, we'll now expand this into a modular AI influencer factory system, okay? So, I mean, this is gonna be very helpful moving forward. So let's go ahead and start the process right away. Now, the other thing I'm really impressed with very quickly is that if I expand this table, you can see again, I'm hoping to get the same level of results when I do this in real time with you. But right away, here are those 20 prompts that we were talking about earlier. Now, like I said, there's gonna be two ways you can do this, but there is one way that's gonna work much better. I'll show you both just so you can try them yourself. And so the first way, method number one, you can see the two screenshots I have up above. In the top left-hand corner, that is the actual screenshot from the post I saw on social media, okay? This is where the guy's saying he makes thousands of dollars a month with this specific AI influencer on Instagram and TikTok. So what I did was I took this screenshot, uploaded it to ChatGPT, and then pasted in this prompt right here. Now again, Hey you, <laughs> want the most amazing prompts databases you'll ever find? Well, just click the links in the description, my AI friend. Every prompt I share in my videos, including the two I'm showing today, will be available via the links in the description. Now, I know you can't see the whole prompt because my head is in a way, but like I said, they'll be in the description. But we're also gonna do this in real time. The other method is a little bit more simpler to where the prompt is gonna be a little bit shorter. And you can see the images on the left, they look good, but in my opinion, they're not as good as these images over here. But the one on the right, these are the actual images I was able to generate with this method utilizing either free pick or mid journey. Now in today's video, we're only going to focus primarily on method number one, but if you want to try method number two, you can just simply enter in this prompt right here. In my opinion, it doesn't work as well, but it is relatively easy and short. And then there it is right there. You're basically going to upload an image and just ask chat GPT what sort of prompts make it. But like I said, it's not going to work as good as method number one. Okay. So now we're in chat GPT and let's go ahead and paste this prompt in. Now, remember we 
need to actually have the image. So if you find an image online, you can just simply take a screenshot. That's going to work perfectly. In fact, any image will work if you want to emulate the same style and look. And so for quick reference, there is, again, the screenshot I took. That's the one I'm going to click and drag into the chat. And now let's go ahead and take a look at what ChatGPT actually said. These images are extremely well crafted. Here's a complete breakdown on how this level of realism was likely achieved, followed by exact techniques, tokens, and prompt examples you can use to recreate similar ultra realistic AI influencer images yourself. And then here we go. So what I would highly recommend is anytime you see any of these tokens or any of these tips, I would definitely make sure you save these. And so what I personally use is again, if you have my prompts databases, I use prompts databases for not only saving prompts, but also some of these hidden gems. Now, the most important questions I'll ask at the end are going to be this. Now, remember, I would also recommend definitely formulating the questions just like this. Generate the first 20 inf influencer prompts from this system using a variety of styles to jumpstart my content and create viral AI influencers that look realistic on apps like Instagram, TikTok. In each prompt, add a hidden token. Make each prompt completely different with different styles and each prompt also consists of a different token. Provide this in a table format. Watch this amazingness right here. Now, unfortunately, in Midjourney, the moderation wouldn't let this go through. So in order to make this go through, let's replace the word bikini with a bathing suit instead. OK, so again, free pick did generate it for me. We'll go take a look at that in a second. Let's try this. And again, in Midjourney, it still won't go through. No problem. Leonardo AI. Wow. Now this went through in Leonardo AI. These images look fantastic. Look at these right here. Amazing. But I think the winner it's going to be free pick. Look how amazing. These are incredible. All right, back over in the chat GPT now. And now look at this. We got our amazing table. We're going to get the prompt name, the actual prompt and the hidden token. This is the quickest and best way to get tons of tokens and tons of different prompts. Okay. From beach jet setter all the way down to bedroom glow. Now with my prompts, you can definitely see the attention, the detail. I mean, for an example right here, shot on this Leica M11 plus the lens and setting. And then here's the token. This is going to blow you away by the levels of realism. Wow. So to wrap this up, look at some of these images I just got by utilizing these prompts that we just got in this table right here. The amazing levels of detail and realism are just blown away. I think these are some of the best AI influencers I have created myself personally. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. Until then, I'll see you next time. Turn it back.